Wow. Paul Mack, Brian McIntyre, has been arrested at Manchester Airport the morning after a fantastic win for his fight, Chris Eubank Jr. against Liam Smith. With a, he got caught with a loaded handgun, with ammunition, um, in his suitcase as he was trying to board a flight back home to the United States. Um, he was picked up around half past 10 Sunday morning. Armed police called in uh, and he was being arrested. Uh, he's been to Stockport Magistrates Court. He's been held on remand to so be in custody until the 9th of October where he will appear in front of Manchester's Crown Court on the 9th of October with a minimum of five years if he's if his case if he's been found guilty, which I mean it's it's in his suitcase. So a minimum of five years in prison. Um now I know with his state of Nebraska and 40 plus states in the United States have quite relaxed gun laws in terms of you can travel with them, you can conceal carry and all this sort of stuff. Maybe California and New York, maybe the strictest of the states. I'm not too sure. I'm not clued up. I'm not from the United, the United States. But, <clears throat> I mean, how do you do that? Like, how do you not know there's a firearm? A responsible firearm owner should know where his firearms are at all times. How do you not know it's in your suitcase? If it is an honest mistake, it's an honest mistake. Uh, and, like, I travel all the time. I've got toiletries in my suitcases and my bags that I don't even think about. I just know they're there. I don't even need to worry about them. Maybe travel plugs and all this sort of stuff. But that's not. It's not a firearm. If I if I had a firearm or a pen knife or something in my suitcase, I'd be like, I need to take that out. I'm traveling in the United States. I don't want to get caught with that. And um, he should have really thought that the firearm in my bag. I'm traveling to the UK. What's their gun laws like? Oh, they don't have any gun. They, they're strict gun laws. They have no guns in the UK. Maybe I should take that out. Um bonkers man absolutely mental how he's how he's done this um i don't know i don't know what to think about it i mean the rematch with spence and crawford i don't know what's going to happen to that now because this is serious for bull mac a minimum of five years or well, as, well, as high as eight years ten years i think it is um in prison uh i mean he should be celebrating chris eubanks when he should be on that plane, getting home to Atlanta, getting a little break, then getting seeing Tense Crawford, see what's up with the rematch for Spence, because I know Spence is activated. He should be just, he's on a high right now. Um, and then obviously he's been held in prison, so it is what it is. It's just absolutely, an absolutely insane story. Absolutely insane story. Um, just let me know what you think, man. Uh, like, I know it could be an honest mistake and probably is an honest mistake. Maybe he's just quickly thinking from Las Vegas or Nebraska, where he's from. He's just wanting to get to the UK. Boom. Just packed, chucked a few things in the bag and got to the UK. It got into the UK to fire him. Do you know what I mean? So I got in and he was just trying to take it back out again. Maybe, I don't know. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Well, obviously, if any news breaks or anything else happens on this, but jump on and, and, and say my piece. But you know what, man? It's a shame for Bomack. You should be celebrating a great win for Chris Eubank Jr. But again, it's a silly, silly, stupid mistake. Let me know what you think. Boom.